Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and in today's video we're going to be doing another top 10 vehicle predictions list for the up and coming GTA Online DLC. Uh, so as I always do with these videos, um, just a little update where we are on that. I don't think there is a confirmed release date yet from Rockstar and I don't think any leakers really know when the DLC is going to be coming out. Um, but it's been speculated that it's going to be an F1 racing DLC because in the last DLC we got the Casino Heist DLC. Um, we got the new F1 cars and some of the new F1 races. But we didn't have very many of those cars and we also didn't get a creator. So we don't know when the DLC is going to come out. We do sort of know what the theme is, or at least it's been speculated what the theme is. So based on that, I've got 10 vehicles here, which I think might come out in that DLC. So let's get started at number 10. So at number 10, I've kind of got three cars in one here because they're all very similar and if this is an F1 themed DLC, it is highly likely, almost 100% sure, that we're going to get at least one more F1 car. So we've got the um, Progen F1 car, which is obviously McLaren. We've got the Ocelot F1 car, which is obviously a Lotus. I think we could get a Ferrari, which would be a Grotti F1 car. I could see us getting a Mercedes F1 car, which would be a Benefactor F1 car. And I can also see us getting a BMW F1 car, which would be Ubermacked in GT Online. So there's sort of three cars there, the Grotti, the Benefactor, and the Ubermacked F1 cars. But we're definitely going to be getting another one. So at number 9, we've got a brand new hypercar that came out at the start of uh, 2020. It is the Bugatti Cento Dici. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um, now this car is obviously a brand new Bugatti, you can see here. And the reason I think that Roxal will add this is they've been adding lots of new Bugattis to the game. We got the uh, Nero a while ago and the Nero Custom. Then we got the Thrax. And they just seem to keep adding new Bugatti vehicles. So every time a new Bugatti comes out, they seem to add it to the game. This is a new Bugatti and I could see them adding it. Number eight is also a Bugatti. This is not a new Bugatti, but this is a classic Bugatti. It's the EB110. Uh, now, I'm surprised Rockstar haven't added this yet into the game, but as I just mentioned, they seem to be adding a lot of Bugattis to the game. They like Bugatti, so I could see them adding the EB110. It's a really cool classic supercar, and I think it will be a great addition to GT Online. Then at number 7 we've got a little bit of a different vehicle, um, but Rockstar also seemed to like adding some of Ken Block's vehicles. So in the last update we got the Hooney truck, which was the Drift Yosemite. We've already got the Hoonicorn in the game, which is the Drift Tampa. Um, we've got a bunch of Ken Block's other vehicles, like his RS200, which is the GB200. You can get Ken Block's livery on that. And uh, we just recently got the um, Mark II Escort with the Ken Block livery on the hood as well. So Ken Block's Ford Escort Cosworth, you can see a picture of it here. I can see Rockstar adding this vehicle. It's a really cool vehicle in, uh, in real life. Um, it's got the monster livery on. Um, it's another Ken Block vehicle that I think Rockstar would love to add. And it does have that really famous whale tail on the back there, which I think a lot of people like as well. Then we've got probably one of my um, most awaited vehicles in GT Online. I would love to see a classic Range Rover Discovery 
in GTA Online. Um, obviously, it would be the Baller Classic. Now, we did have a Range Rover in GTA San Andreas, which is basically the classic 80s Range Rover. So, I've got a picture of a mod here and the real-life version, so you can see what it could look like in the game. But this is a really cool vehicle. We've got the Baller in-game already, and that's a pretty cool vehicle, but I'm a big fan of classic off-road vehicles. So I'd love to see a classic Range Rover in GTA Online. So the next vehicle we've got here is the Tri-5 by Fire Hoonigan Chevy Bel Air. And I've also put on the Roadkill Blasphemy because these are both very similar vehicles. They're both Bel Air gases. And in the casino uh, update, the original casino update, we did get the Tornado Gasser. And I don't think many people like that vehicle, but I was a big fan of that vehicle. I thought it was absolutely awesome. It was the last vehicle that got released as Drip Feed, and I waited for that vehicle for so long. It was an incredible car when it came out. I loved it to bits. And I'd love to see more gases in the game. We, it's the only gasser that we really have in the game. So I'd love to see a tornado gasser. We've got two really cool vehicles here on screen. Um, quite famous cars. We know that Rockstar like the Hoonigan people. And we know that they follow Roadkill as well. So both these vehicles, Chevy Bel Air gasses. And I think they would fit in GTA superbly. The next one, we've got the Lancia 037 Rally Car. So we already have the Stratos in-game, which is absolutely incredible. The Tropos Rally. Um, but we don't have a Lancia 037. It's quite a famous rally car, I do have to say. Um, so I could see Rockstar adding this. If it's going to be a racing DLC, I could see them adding some other racing uh, vehicles. So like rally cars you know touring car style vehicles stuff like that and this is a classic rally car the Lancia 037 so I could definitely see them adding it in the game at number three we've got the Renault 5 Turbo uh, so we've got a picture of it on screen this is a really cool vehicle and again it's a classic rally car um, Surprise Rocks, I haven't added this earlier actually. It's quite a nice looking car in my opinion. Um, it's a really cool classic rally car as well. And I think it would fit perfectly in the GTA world. They could put it in the compact category because we don't have many vehicles in that class. So it would be nice to add some more vehicles to that category as well. At number two, we've got the 1968 Pontiac GTO Judge. So, as I mentioned in every video, I'm going to say it again. I love classic muscle cars. I'm a big muscle car fan. And this is probably one of my favourite um, muscle cars in real life, the Pontiac GTO Judge. And I'd love to see Rockstar put this into GTA Online. I'd love to see what they do with this vehicle. Um, it's got the sort of pop-up headlights as well which is a really cool feature that not many cars have in GTA Online uh, but we know that Rockstar do like to add vehicles with um, unique features like that and it's a generally cool classic muscle car so I'd love to see that in GTA. And at number one we've probably got my ultimate GTA Online vehicle which is the Hot Wheels Twin Mill. Um, so I'm surprised Rockstar haven't added this one as well. They love to add crazy, wacky cars into GTA Online. The Hot Wheels Twin Mill is probably the craziest vehicle that I've ever seen. It's got two V8 engines in there, both supercharged. Um, honestly, it would fit perfectly in GTA. If this came into GTA... Every person would buy it. They could price it quite highly. It looks incredible. It's a car that I really want to see. 
and I think the community in GTA would really like to see the twin mill. Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at these top 10 vehicle predictions with me. What are your top 10 vehicle predictions for this F1 DLC? When do you think the DLC will be coming out, if at all? And do you think that it is going to be an F1 DLC? Let me know in the comment section down below. But if you have enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new for videos just like this one. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.